The world is spinning too fast. I'm fine that I get shoes to keep myself tethered to the days I try to lose. My mama said to slow down, you must make your own shoes. Stop dancing to the music, I've got red is in a happy mood. Keep on my blues on. It's all garbage. Hey, what's up, guys? Um, I am back with another devlog, and uh, uh, it's been a really long time since the last devlog. Um, I'm sorry about that. Kind of haven't really been feeling like doing these a whole lot, so sorry. But that just means we have a lot to talk about. All right, so. It's been about a week or two since I uh, finished the the next preview update. Uh, there's only one or two left. Um, so I, I just want to talk about everything that I've been doing. I've just been redoing all of the art in my game, making sure that all of the sprites for players and certain things are animated <clears throat> and making them look nicer. Some of them were scaled up, and they were actually a smaller image, so it didn't look as great. So I completely redid a lot of designs, stuff like that. Uh, I redid some of the stuff on like the site side of things. You could see I changed some of the stuff down here. Um, I, I made the game a little, like the screen a little bigger. Um, I changed. I changed a lot, but uh, so I'm going to go through some of the features, play a little bit of it for you guys, uh, show you some stuff that uh, I think is interesting. So, uh, like I said, I did all this stuff. I made it a little bigger, combined these two things, made the screen just a tad bit bigger, and then uh, I also redid the whole settings menu. So now, settings menu, we have these uh, nicer looking uh, bars here. And uh, it shows you the percent of where it is at. And that will actually save. This is not the default stuff because I, I turned the music down because it kind of gets on my nerves. I put save buttons here for all of it. Or you could just scroll down here and hit save all. Um... So I added a lot more extras. Uh, I added the enemy health bar, which uh, well, we haven't talked about, but it's it's kind of an old update. Animated sprites, so you could turn them off, and they'll go into their default form. Um, uh, I put muting for each of the sound effects, so you can mute the shooting sound effect, the low ammo, and the explosion sound effect. Um, so this is a really cool thing. You used to just type out what uh, what the key code was. And I thought, uh, obviously a lot of people don't know the key codes and stuff for this type of thing. So now you just hit a button, and then you can hit any key like that, and it will change it. But And it will also save all of the controls too, so you don't have to hit a save button. It will automatically do that. And then when you load... Up, all of your settings will be saved. Uh, I added all of the buttons that I wanted you guys to be able to change. Later, I might add shortcut keys. I don't really know if I'm going to do that yet because it seems like a whole lot of work for not a real big payoff because the number of keys are easily accessible, so I'm probably not going to do that. Um, but I added 
the escape, uh, exit and back button, uh, the mute and unmute button, which it will save when you mute the game, which I have it muted right now because it's kind of annoying. I know, right? I've only sat here and developed on this game for how long with the music. That's why I, I also took away the message box that pops up every time you start the game since I added and to where it'll save your settings and stuff like that. So, it's it's a quality of life change. And also we have the patch info, revive, special key, which used to be shift, but that stopped working for some reason. Just, it doesn't like you using shift for some reason. It wouldn't register as a key press. So I was like, okay, I'll just change it to something. And I moved it a little closer, so now it's E. So now you only have to hit E and one for like the one special weapon that I have in the game right now. And then this new feature that I'll show you guys in a minute, hide front panel. So that little front panel that was down here, it will take it away and give you a bigger screen. For those of you who have smaller screens, um, you can zoom in and zoom out. All you have to do if you have Chrome, go over here and use these. And uh, yeah, I have it zoomed out to 80% because it doesn't show up right on this monitor. It'll, it'll do fine on the other display I have over here. And then I also changed this and made it look a little nicer and explain things a little better. And then the difficulties, I added in the safe thing right there. So that's pretty much it for that. Um, I also made this a little bigger. I don't know. I just thought it looked better that way. So if you hit the backslash, it will give you a bigger screen. And if, like I said, if you're on a bigger display or a smaller display, you can adjust the screen however you do it on your browser. Um, because a lot of people have been complaining, saying that we should just add in, uh, like, just full screen mode. That's a whole lot harder than you guys think. Um, in the future, for these games, I might, obviously. But uh, I'm not going to. I'm not going to add it in a full screen mode. It's just way too difficult right now as it stands, and I don't really feel like it. Uh, this, the title card might be disappearing soon. I might try to make a new one. And uh, if you guys go on, like, Game Jaw or Newgrounds or somewhere, and you see the new uh, icon that I made for it, um, I might use that instead, because... My, my friend just made this real quick for me. I mean, it's I still like it, but she just whipped it up real quick. I wasn't paying her, so apparently, yeah. You get what you get, right? Uh, but, yeah. And you can notice, like, these stars here are touching. You can still see how this was a preset. And I, I might... I might redo it in the future probably the next update and I'll I'll explain to you what the next update is going to consist of but uh yeah I'll just jump right into the game so you can already see how I improved a lot on some of the designs I completely redid this design and made it a uh, purple I think it's a really cool design, and you can see a lot of uh, details in it. And right here, you can see all of the animated sprites for all the different ships. And I, I completely uh, redesigned a lot of this stuff, how it looks. Everything's centered now, and they actually show up like their actual size instead of zooming them up which makes it look terrible and you can kinda see what I was going for on some of these designs uh, 
I think the one that I hate or, or dislike the least is probably number four. It's just kind of plain, and all it does is just really change the color of the center. But that's based off of the boss, which we'll get there. Um, so, yeah, pretty much all of this stuff is uh, pretty cool. I, I really like this design just because I really worked on the shading. And, uh, I don't know, three is kind of just plain. I have another variation of that that I'm probably going to implement when I implement the event eventually. But, um, I don't know. If you play during St. Patrick's Day or in, the, in that month, um, you can unlock this by playing an event. Which is kind of hard to get to. You have to type in a special code and stuff into the little cheat bar down there. But I will, I will talk about that. My plans on fixing that. But I really like this design. I think it's the most unique, and it's also the most powerful. I think. Hold on. Actually, no. I think yeah, number four is the most powerful. But this is a good balance. If you hit E. And one, if you beat the boss on hard mode, you get uh, the lucky weapon, which is what the boss uses to fight you. And it's like super good in this early game. Uh, hold on. If you. Hmm, let's try to play on like harder difficulty. Uh, and now we try to play on here. You can see it doesn't kill it instantly. Still pretty easy. Uh, but we will try go to hard. And uh, now I'll try to play the game. It makes your health go down a lot faster. And these enemies are actually a little challenging. They're not hard to take down, obviously, but... They do a ton of damage. And uh, this ship's max health is uh, 200. That's why it says my health is low. But luckily, we have some stuff here that we can get. But uh, yeah, I did, I've done a lot of work to this since the last time. I don't even know where we left off. I'm just playing a little bit of the game so you guys can see. Uh... I guess I can... I don't really need to upgrade my weapon. If you got this, it doesn't really matter. Oh, f oh, I hate that. I hate I hate that enemy a lot. I love its design. It's, I t totally redesigned it. It's not just a... Uh, it's, it's not just plain anymore. It actually... I put in some effort to uh, do a redesign on it. And I, I like it a lot. It's one of the nicer enemy designs that I've made. I could have animated bullets too, but what I've noticed is you're not really going to notice it because they're going so fast. So I decided to leave that out. Oh! 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 oh. Oh God! No, <laughs> Jesus. Okay. All right. So you guys see how hard hard it is. There's nothing really that can beat it at the moment. I like. I'm sure if I played and got like really good at strats and stuff, you could probably beat it. But hard is super difficult. Um. So. I guess we can switch over to the other enemies, so if I just... Alright, we are back. Uh, I had to go ahead and turn on cheat code and stuff, so I can go ahead and show you the rest of the stuff. So, yeah, I completely redid the wireframe enemy, which is really difficult, by the way. 
that enemy is not a force to be reckoned with. This, the triangle enemy is also really hard. Um, I really love how it, like, actually faces you now. Uh, ever since I figured out how to do that for the boss I was working on, which I will show you guys clips of. And, uh, I really like its redesign. I think it looks nice, but for right now, we're going to go on to the boss. The Wave 7 boss, to be, in, to be correct. Okay, sorry guys, um, I'm back. I had to fix a couple issues that I found, and it is already patched by the time this goes out. And also, I, I did a little change. I took out the border because it did something weird, and the border was bigger on this side and that side than that and that, and that's just HTML being weird. So, so you guys got to see some live improvements to the game. But back to what I was going to show you was the Wave 7 boss. That amazing explosion that someone made. I have a cheat code on right now so I can show you guys around. And this was the bug, which is now fixed. So these trees weren't disappearing, but I fixed that. But yeah, this is basically all of the changes here. Soon, I'll add in the weapon that the boss is using right now. I'll add that in to where you can earn it if you beat it, the boss on hard, which I doubt you will do because uh, I will have showed you why I doubt you could do, unless you were super good at the game somehow. But uh, yeah. I love the little laser effect. I, I don't remember if I talked about that before, but I, I love the laser effect. The game all around just feels really good. Feels smooth. Controls and all that. So, next I will move on to showing you uh, one of the past events, which I might open up soon when I release something I'm going to talk about towards the end of this video. Okay, epic. I am back. And, uh, this was the St. Patrick's Day event. I thought I did a pretty decent job on it. All things considered, I basically used the assets that I had and added on to them. I added these flowers that you can see. Sorry, I had to click on the game. Um, all around, I'm really excited for this, uh, backdrop and all that. I know it's not like best art in the world, but it's definitely better than stuff I've seen on Game Draw, shit like that. Um, in the center there, you have the ship. So, I haven't really came up with a whole story with it. Um, I, I guess the ship could have crashed there, or just landed there, and you go to investigate. I don't, I don't really know. You could, you guys can come up with whatever. Um, and then this little piece in the center, I had a lot of fun making. And uh, when you go up to it, it flies up and turns into the boss, which is a leprechaun hat. Which, uh, right now, it's going to be pretty easy to beat because I'm invincible. But its bullets do quite a bit of damage. It's not the hardest boss ever. You could play on harder difficulties to if you want to challenge. This is by far probably the easiest boss that I've made. But it's by far one of the coolest ones because it, it just has the same uh, AI and AI and stuff as the triangle boss. But I don't know. I like its aesthetic and a lot of the stuff I made from scratch. So uh, when you beat it. It will just teleport you back here. Which, uh, there's been some bugs with that, but I ended up fixing it. Um, all around, it's a pretty decent 
overall roundabout showing you everything that I've added uh, I don't remember if I showed you guys the location and all that but that's I don't think that's new uh, anyway there's quite a bit of stuff that I still have to do to finish up this uh, update to push it to uh, the main branch of the game because the main branch still has all these bugs and stuff I haven't patched it out yet but I will do that after uh, I get all this stuff done so I'll go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and tell you some of the stuff I'm going to work on um, first of all I'm going to add in easier methods for you to teleport around like go from wave to wave if you really want to check out the new stuff without actually playing the game uh, I'm not going to call you a cheater because sometimes people don't want to play the whole game. They just want to go to certain places. It's basically a tool, but you can use it to cheat if you really want to. But I'm also going to add a thing. So if anyone plays this and tries to act like they're, I don't know, speed running it, if you <laughs> really want to speed run this type of game, um, I'm going to add when you have a cheat active. Uh, not only you could s tell from the name, but uh, I'm going to add a little thing here, like calling you a cheater or something. And, uh, yeah. Uh, some of the big stuff I'm going to add in this place that I call the Warp Zone, which is a place that you can go to. I'm thinking about adding it uh, over here, like in this area. I still have something planned here, so... I have to keep an eye out, but uh, probably add another button here for you guys to uh, go to the warped zone. And what it's is basically like a hub for all of the events that are going on. It will be the place that you go to to see if there's an event going on. And uh, for limited time events, events in general, because I'm going to have one that's going to be here all year round that you could just play and get. Uh, certain rewards and stuff off of. Uh, I'm also going to add in a new event, which is the one I was just talking about all year round. And it's also kind of a joke boss that my friends were talking about, and I told them, oh, I'll add it in just for memes, just for, you know, laughs, just for shits and giggles, you know. But, uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and do that when the time is right. I still need to do a couple quality of life improvements before I do that. But, uh, yeah, some of my future plans. Well, first of all, I should say this. Uh, if you guys haven't noticed, the seasons have changed. It is now spring. So we've went back to the original OG art for it. And the fall and the winter art is nowhere to be found right now obviously because seasons are changing I think one of my favorite uh, season uh, art that I did for the game was uh, the fall thought it looked pretty nice but uh, some future things I want to do I want to add some rewards if you kill a certain amount of enemies but I also then obviously I'm going to have to uh, make a whole achievement system in the game which uh, is a little bit bigger than I want to do right now I don't have a whole lot of time to work on the game because some stuff is coming up in my life and I also have to make videos and stuff because uh, I finally got monetized I didn't really get to say this in any of my other videos but yeah uh, and also, I animated that little thing that you guys saw before the video started. But, anyway, that is just some cool things that I want to talk about. Uh, go here, and I can show you guys a little more of what I'm going to do. Yeah, basically... In the next couple previews, I want to add in a Christmas event, event and a Valentine's Day event, 
and yeah, we already talked about that stuff. A lot of this stuff, take it with a grain of salt, because some of it might not happen. Like the ship crater, I don't know if I'll actually end up doing that. It might be too uh, annoying to do, because if I built this game from the ground up for modding, like uh, Slay the Cube 2, um, it would be much easier, but it's not. And I might add in the game draw API and a couple other APIs for you, for you guys. Uh, I still don't know. I, from the beginning, I had a plan to do an endless mode. I have no idea if that's ever going to happen. I might just make modules so where you can play different campaigns. But the main campaign is only going up to level or wave twenty, so. I've decided that since the beginning. But, uh, and also stuff like a death sequence. I don't know if I'm actually going to make, like, a death sequence for that player. That's just something I'll put in there. And, I don't know. I don't know if the shield is going to be added into the game. I might save it, a lot of these features, for the sequel. Because, uh, I have a better engine picked out for it that I've made. For a game that's kind of shelf right now, um, the the weapon vault is what I was going to put underneath the shipyard for all of these special weapons. That, well, I guess special special weapons, but uh, I I don't really know yet. There's not going to be a whole lot of weapons in the in the game right now. I have quite a bit of stuff that I want to do. Also some new ships. I have. And I also want to work on controller support too. But all of the controllers I have right now are acting up. So. Don't know if that will happen. Might just be dead in the water for controller support. Unless I make a, an actual full on PC version of the game. Um. I don't know. A lot of this stuff is really out in the water right now, if I'm going to do or not. Like redoing the game music, maybe. If I ever come up with anything, I also need to add music to all, all of the events and stuff. I just don't know if I'll do it. But um, with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.